Hey, it's Time Scarf 11 with part 4 of my favorite sightseeing viewpoints in Xenoblade Definitive Edition. So, this episode will be on my favorite viewpoints from around the Makanis, which means there will be post Sword Valley spoilers. So, first viewpoint that I really like in Makanis is the view from the Radio Carpa. You can see a lot of fallen arm from here. And the lighting is really nice early in the morning. Nice view up at the Makanis too. The distant fingertip is another really good look out. You can see pretty much the entire fallen arm from here. I wish you could explore the forest on top of the arm, the rest of the arm over there. And a nice view up at the Bionis and Sword Valley. Galahad Fortress doesn't quite line up with where the Fallen Arm is. But I guess everyone just washed ashore. Or the wind blew them or something. Also would have been really cool if we could go to the tops of the other fingertips. So I'm not sure what that is out there. Maybe just broken off parts that would go around the arm? Because it's obviously not another finger. And, in case anyone is wondering, it is possible to jump and survive from here by landing in the water, but you can't jump from the actual fingertip itself, you have to jump from right over there. I haven't been able to do it from jumping from this way. Maybe, maybe we might make it? No, we're not going to make it. So from here you get a really nice view of the Fallen Arm and Bionis. Also the other arm of the Makanis, the Rebuilt Arm. I forget where it's mentioned, or if it's just assumed. I th think I've heard people say that an NPC somewhere mentions it. But it might just be assumed, because it's, you know, there, that Aegil rebuilt a new arm for the Makanis by taking out the parts from Makana's field, because you know it's all hollow inside there, so... There had to have been something inside there before that they pulled out. Plus, all the Mechon are built from stripping out the insides of the Makanis.
This area is one of my favorite boss fights in the series, like the whole series, because it's just not a straightforward boss fight, more like a puzzle with how you have to maneuver around to reach him first. This massive place in general is just a really cool area. Reminds me of the insides of Star Destroyers in Star Wars, with wreckage of them. Like in The Bad Batch and The Force Awakens, you see wreckage of Star Destroyers and the insides of them. So it has the same kind of feel to it here. Best views of Central Factory are both pretty much in a line, basically. There's the entrance where you get the view up at everything. I have Dunban as Batman right now. I love this armor on Dunban. So a lot of nice stuff to see from here. Central Factory is one of my favorite areas. Though I wish there was a bit more to it because just goes by way too fast. Mechanis Field and Central Factory have my favorite field themes in Xenoblade 1, but you don't spend enough time there because they're so linear. I like the giant turbine down there. And then from the highest point, you can see up at the Apocrypha generator, I think. Which direction is it? Yeah, up there you can see the Apocrypha generator from here. And then last viewpoint is the Seven Sage Cloister in Agniritha. Why is it every time I try to record this part the camera doesn't focus? There we go. So you can see pretty much all of Agniritha from here. You 
including all of the city below where you get to explore. And there's a lot of the city behind where you get to explore also. So that's it for my favorite sightseeing spots in Xenoblade Definitive Edition. I've still got places to show in Future Connected that I really like looking out at. But as for the main game, that's all my favorite places. So before I do Future Connected with favorite viewpoints, I've also got some more Xenoblade 2 videos that I wanted to get to talking about how to rebalance some of the optional blades in the game. So that'll probably be next week. That's going to be a multi-part series, because there's a lot of blades to talk about how I would rebalance them. So, see you next time!